What's up everybody, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Maryland's unemployment and the great fiasco that that is. Uh, but first, um, if you're here, I recommend that you check out this video I made uh, concerning the money mindset. Uh, I think regarding this tremendous issue, you might find a different perspective in life and see things slightly differently and it could help you tremendously with your financial endeavors. But with that said, let's get into the video. First of all, I just want to talk about what's happening with Maryland unemployment. So of course we all know coronavirus happened and there were a lot of people laid off or just displaced from their jobs. A lot of self-employed people such as myself lost their businesses and just had to start over. Um, and you know, the government uh, has been paying people on top of their traditional unemployment and allowing self-employed people to get unemployment as well because generally self-employed people are not um, eligible for unemployment. Let's talk about Maryland and how they've been really messing up lately. Some states recently, had, over the past like two months, have decided they were going to end the extra money that the government has been giving them to pay out on top of regular unemployment benefits. Now, here's the crazy thing. It doesn't affect the state's finances whatsoever. The money comes from the White House. They're giving them, like, here, Maryland, here's $3.9 billion. Pay the people who are unemployed, unemployed right now on unemployment an extra $300 a week, please. And so Larry Hogan, the governor of Maryland, decided, ah, we're not going to do that. I'm going to just end it you know, any real explanation. His explanation is people are lazy and there's plenty of jobs out there and no one's taking them because they're getting an extra $300 a week. First of all, that's not the case. There might be jobs. I'm not saying there aren't jobs, but people aren't taking them because they, re they refuse to be mistreated. Here's what's happening. You have these jobs that are underpaying people. Like if I, it's, it's, I have three people in my household, how am I going to take care of them with $10 an hour? I'm way more qualified than that. Sure, I could go get a job at Wendy's, but what do I look like? That's, I'm going to be negative with a job like that, right? So yeah, there are a lot of jobs, but they're not paying anybody anything. And you know what? I'm going to show a picture right now of something I saw earlier today on Reddit, and this is the attitude that these restaurants and some of these companies that have jobs have they're acting like it's just the people that are lazy but no what it really is is they're not trying to pay a fair living wage no person is going to just pass up uh, a job where they feel respected and they're being paid a fair living wage no what it is is people are no longer willing to take the nonsense but let's talk about the nonsense here so anyway larry hogan tried to end it the people rebelled and sued him he lost, and now Maryland is getting the $300 back, and it's going to end in September 4th like it was supposed to in the first place. But since then, it's been a whole fiasco. So, I mean, it's, one could argue that this is retaliation. So, all of a sudden, the, the portal is not working properly. Um, and when it was first announced that the state of Maryland was ending the extra support, the website just, I mean, just totally crashed. Like it was, uh, I, I don't know what was going on, but I think personally someone hacked it. I just think it was hacked. And um, it was causing problems for people trying to do their weekly certifications to get their unemployment. Now, since Larry Hogan lost in court, what was that, about a week and a half ago, all of a sudden they're like, okay, well, people who are self-employed need to start looking for employment. Now, first of all, if we're entrepreneurs and we're self-employed, chances are we don't do the nine to five thing, right? Like, like me, I'm making YouTube videos to try to build up an audience so I can hopefully by September 4th, this is the goal in January, uh, by September 4th, I can have adequate income so I can live, so it can replace my previous business. That's generally what we're doing, right? So instead of saying you need to look for a job, it, needs, it should say 
you should show us what you're doing to uh, be self-sufficient, right? And then, you know, you have that a part of your uh, weekly web search. Now, instead, it's just saying, oh, you got to look for a job. So last week, I did my weekly certification. And then when I went to go do it again for this week, I see that my whole case is, in, is inactive. And it's like, oh, you have to uh, reapply. And it's saying that I haven't done any certifications since the beginning of the month, J July 3rd. I'm like, no, I didn't even have receipts in my email that I did it. And so I got on the chat with them. First of all, you can't call anybody. It, it never goes through. Uh, and so I finally talked to someone on virtual chat. And they were like, no, it's showing you don't do it. I, you didn't do it. But I'm like, okay, but I have proof in my email of the confirmations that I did it. And so, no, it was like, okay, well, what I'll put in the, put in the ticket. So basically, I reopened my case this week, and it was saying that we had to start looking for jobs on July 18th, which was this Sunday. I get something, uh, the, the day I finally reopened my case, my unemployment case, I get something in my correspondence. Here's the thing, I never got an email, I never got anything, I just happened to check it because it's still saying that the last time I certified was July 3rd even though it's showing it's active now. So we'll see if I get paid. Uh, and there's been a lot of people who haven't gotten paid since the beginning. Like Maryland owes them over $10,000. Uh, and it's a lot of people like that. You can see them all over Reddit. But I want to turn your attention to this piece of correspondence, okay? Okay, so straight out of my Beacon login, you can see up here in the URL, right up here, it says beaconlabor.maryland.gov, okay? So this is a legit document from the state of Maryland, okay? Here we go. <laughs> it says, not applicable for all this stuff up here. And it says, it has been indicated that you failed to your required job contacts. What? I had to read it again to make sure I wasn't just sleepy or that I all of a sudden went back to kindergarten and didn't know how to read. So let's read this again. It has been indicated that you failed to your required job contacts. Asterisk. I guess I'm supposed to answer this nonsense. I assume what they're trying to say is it has been indicated that you failed to do your required job search contacts or job requirements. You know, I really don't know. Um, but asterisk. First of all, this is a PDF, ma'am. And I don't know why I feel like this is a woman, but I feel like a woman wrote this, and as we go on, you'll see what I mean. Not only is did I, do I know a woman wrote this, but it sounds like a woman that date black dudes and hang out with a lot of black people. But anyway, so first of all, Ma'am, this is a PDF, so I can't I can't type nothing in that. Then say select reason. Where? Because I don't see nothing, no drop down, nothing. All right. Uh, question number two: How many job contacts are you required to make each week? Why are you asking me? You tell me. Well, I didn't make these rules. Tell you tell me. Question number three. Have you been making your required job contacts? Well, you think I haven't, but let's yes, but I can't click because again, this is a PDF. This is you were informed of your job. This is exactly how I know this person wrote this because she was mad because, you know, her man must be creeping. But here we go. You were informed of your job contact requirement. First of all, requirements. You were informed of your job contact requirement on which instructed you to begin making your required number of job contacts immediately. Huh? What? And then let's fix the sentence for you were informed. I don't even I mean, I got to just I will have to redo this whole thing. You were informed of your job contact requirement on which instructed you. I'm pretty sure they meant in which instructed you to begin making your required number of job contacts immediately. First of all, no, I wasn't. Okay, I never got any emails or anything. 
uh, I just got this in my correspondence. And then, so, what am I supposed to say about that? Why is that even on there? Next, did you read the claimant pamphlet, what you should know about unemployment insurance in Maryland? And the claimant responsibilities when filing for unemployment insurance benefits? No, because you didn't give it to me. All right. What, and then, that's the end of that. Which was sent to you when you filed your claim? I don't understand. Which was sent to you when you filed your claim? I don't understand. Then this question. Why not? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? Why not? I don't know what you're talking about. Next. Did you read the information that you were sent explaining your job contact requirement? You just literally asked me that in very broken English, but you asked me that already. Don't ask me that again. Don't waste my time. Why not? What if I said yes? Why? And then it's an asterisk by this, so you got to answer that why not. Yes, why not? Well, I just said yes. Did you fail to make your required contacts due to being out of the area for personal reasons? This is, I mean, if it was personal reasons, that's none of your business, right? Now, it sounds like to me, like this person has a problem at home. Maybe someone is out of the area for personal reasons. I don't know. That's, at least that's what they told her. Why did not you make your required job contacts? Yes, you read that right. Why did not you make your required job contacts? I don't know, man, but maybe I need your job because I at least know how to write coherent sentences. Where were you located while handling your personal? What? I'm assuming you're assuming that I was out of the area and that ain't none of your business. Okay. Oh, okay. Reasons. So maybe reasons was part of that last question. So let's read it again. Where were you located while handling your personal reasons? That still don't make no sense. Would you have been able to start work immediately if offered work while out of the area? Well, you just said I was out of the area, so how would I start immediately? How quickly could you have returned if offered work? Slim, why are you still talking about me being... I was home. I was home. I don't know where your man was, but I was home. Stop with these questions and accusations of me being gone out of town. Okay? Okay? What about being out of the area prevented you from making your job? Why are you still talking about me being gone? I was at home. I was at home. What about being out of the area prevented you from making your required job contacts? Well, you just said I was out of the area. So how am I going to do that? How am I going to do that if I'm gone? If I'm in Florida, how am I going to go to a job interview in Maryland? This is what we got to deal with, y'all. And then they will use this as an excuse to not pay you because you didn't answer these questions. Right? What questions? This is gibberish. I'm not done. We're going to read this whole thing. Okay, how long it take? What date did you stop making your required job contacts? Man, that's a dumb question. What date did you stop making your required job contacts? I didn't stop. I never started. Because, yo, first of all, I actually did. Because my wife is on it, too. And I saw that they was requiring it on the 18th. So even before, while my thing was canceled, I still did it. Have you started? That's the whole thing. I'm in the clear. I did it. I could log on to my little thing. You can see all the job contacts and stuff. But they sent me this anyway. Have you started making your job your have you started making your required job contact since the above date? I never stopped. So how do I answer that question? See if I say yes, I'm incriminating myself. If I say no, I'm wrong too. So you messed up right there. We ain't gonna pay you. And just and you gotta answer it. So whatever you answer, you wrong. Are you willing to begin making your required job contacts this week? Let me read it like her. Are you willing to begin making your required job contacts this week? I already made them. What date did you make the contact? I told you already I put it up Monday. What is the name of the employee you contacted? I told you it was the it was the Department of Transportation. What position did you apply for? I told you already it was a program analyst. 
I shouldn't even be saying that because now everybody in Maryland going to be applying for the program analyst position. Why has it been indicated that you failed to make your required job contacts? I don't know. You tell me. How am I supposed to know? I don't work there. You tell me. I don't know what's wrong with your system. And see, we got to answer that. And if you don't answer it, and if I get smart, chances are I'm going to get my stuff cut off. What date did you make the contact? I think you already asked me that. I, I'm pretty sure you asked me that already. Don't ask me the same questions again. I don't like that. I tell my kids don't do that. What is the name of the employee you contacted now, Slim? I know you just asked me that. Look, what date did you make, make the contact? What date did you make the contact? You already asked me that. What position did you apply for? You already asked me that, too. Are you trying to catch me up in a lie? I told you it was the program analyst. And I told you it was Monday. And I told you it was the Department of Transportation. Have you been making your required job contacts without contacting the same employer weekly? But what if the, con the employer contacted me? I'm supposed to ignore them? How am I going to get the job? How am I going to get the job if I don't respond back to them when they reach out to me? You tell me not to do that. You were informed of your job contact requirement on which instructed you to begin making your required number of job contacts immediately. Once again, I believe you said that already early in the argument. Hey, this sounds just like you arguing with a crazy girlfriend. That's exactly what this is. This is some chick that's mad at her man and she's taking it out on the whole state of Maryland. She's repeating herself and everything, trying to see if you say something different. You were sent to claim a pamphlet, what you should know about unemployment insurance in Maryland. The pamphlet explains that repeated contacts to the same employer are generally not considered valid. Okay, what you mean yes or no? How is this a yes or no question? That's a statement. You just made a statement. Where's the okay little dot? Did you read this information? I just read it just now. Why not? <laughs> Look. Did you read this information? There's there's no, I guess that's, I don't know. I guess that's the yes or no. I don't know. And then why not? Again, if I say yes, I still got to answer why not. I just told you I did. Why did you make repeated contact with the same employer? Who said I did? What weeks did you make repeated contact with the employer instead of making contacts as instructed? Slim, look, I just said, whatever, man. They reached out back out. They reached back out to me. What you talking about? How am I going to get a job? Have you started making your required job contacts since the above date? You already asked me that. Are you willing to begin making your required job contacts this week? You asked me that too. What date did you make the contact? This is like your fourth time asking me that. What is the name of the employer you contacted? Same thing. I'm not answering no more. I'm not answering these again. What position did you apply for? Why has it been indicated that you failed to make your required job contacts? And it just goes on and on like this, repeating itself. Look at this, y'all. It's like it's four pages of this nonsense, isn't it? It's four, four, six pages of the same questions over and over again, calling you a thief. And they say like almost a million people was, was fraud. Then it dropped to oh, 500,000 uh, was all fraudulent. I'm pretty sure anyone that, that fills this pamphlet out could say it was fraud because it's nonsense. There you go. Why did you fail to make your required job contacts? When did you stop making your required job? And this just goes on and on, on and on. And the very last question is, once again, what position did you apply for? See, I feel like this is some psychological warfare, because who want to deal with this? It's like, man, forget it. I just take the job at Wendy's. I ain't trying to fill this stuff out. I'll be dealing with this every week, man. I'll just go to Wendy's. Jesus Christ. Anyway, it's funny, but it's not at the same time. <laughs> at the same time, who elected these people? And word on the street is Larry Hogan tried to run for president. Y'all just remember this video. You remember this if he ever does that. Anyway, see y'all next video.